Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the recently code contest. Um, path with minimum effort. For, for a problem with minimum effort, I just, I put a lot of effort into this. Uh, so, <laughs> on this problem, I don't know. It's just a bad pun, sorry. Uh, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like it. Join me on Discord. Um, so, this problem, actually, if you watch me solve this live during the contest, uh, which is afterwards, uh, I actually solved this twice because I misread this problem uh, the first time. The first problem, I just thought that between two adjacent cells, that's the distance. So oh, then I just kind of sum up all the distances. And then afterwards, I was like, well, when I ch checked the uh, explanations or, and stuff, I was like, oh, wait. After I already coded this, and it took about four minutes, which is not that long, but my entire problem solving was only eight minutes, right? So I spent half the time literally uh, solving the wrong problem. But yeah, but as soon as I realized that I fixed it. Um, but so yeah, so if, 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 if you did it the incorrect way as I did, uh, then it's just going to be uh, breath first search. Oh, not breath first search, dystrous algorithm. You just, you know, there's... This x and the y, and then you try to get to x and the y the quickest as possible, right? Um, so the, the thing that, but that's not the case with this problem. So the thing with this problem is that what is the maximum absolute difference to kind of figure this out, right? Well, um, yeah, so there's uh, n is l less than 100 or l equal to 100, so that's going to be a little bit tricky, um, but because the heights is only up to 10 to 6, we could just do a binary search on it. How does this work, right? So binary search works when when you have a case that, um, you know, it's going to go from, you know, it's going to be false, 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 true, 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 true. And in this case, that's the that's the problem that we're given. Because And you can kind of think about this intuitively, right? Like if you have, have for example, for this uh, example, if you, if you let... If if you could if you only look at maximum absolute differences of um say one which is in this case right then if you increase that that to two that only gives you more places to go and and it is strictly better in the sense that it strictly gives you more options and that if if it was connected before so if one is connected then two will be connected. Uh, and then three will be connected as the absolute max difference and so forth, right? And also the, the, the other way, where if zero is not disconnected, if, if say one is not connected, uh, you have a graph for absolute maximum distance of one is not connected because you don't have those edges, then zero is not going to be connected because you only get more edges as you get more, right? So that's the idea behind the binary search. And that's basically how I implemented. You can watch me solve this. I did this in about four or five minutes um, after I solved the incorrect one the first time. What I did was I broke it down. I I did what I said, right? Where, where, okay, so the middle, we look at the middle. If the middle is good, meaning that if there's a path from the beginning to the end, then we know that uh, and in this case, it's the, we want the left and the right to be inclusive. For me, that's how I set it up anyway. Um, so if if the if the middle is good, what does that mean, right? If the middle is good, that means that we want. Okay, so let, let's. So what I li like to do is kind of like just visualize this a little bit, uh, and with enough visualization, like I don't do this anymore, but to, for a long time, that's how I practice my binary search. To be honest, is that I do this visualization exercise so that I'm able to ask myself the right questions, right? So I ask myself, okay, if this is good, what does this mean, right? Uh, actually, uh, sorry, I, I, well, for this problem, this is, is this case because of what we said before. My bad. Uh, so if this is true, what does this mean, right? Um, if this is true, that means that we the, our better answer is to the left. Like this is a possible good answer, but the answer is also to the left, right? And what that means is that we can throw away everything to the right. So then we just set to the right to the mid. Uh, and because it's inclusive, if mid is good, we want to keep the mid, right? So that's why I have it this way. Uh, and then if uh, if this is false, well, then what happens? Well, you know that if you have more, uh, if you have a higher number, that would give you more edges, right? So that we want to keep this and things to the right of this. So we want to throw away to the left. So we definitely throw away this stuff. We go bye-bye, right? 
And then the question is, do we keep this? Uh, do we keep the mid, right? And the answer is no, because it's false. So that means that the next good answer has to be for, uh, mid plus one. So that's why we said left to mid plus one. So that's how I did the binary search. Um, and then now I have uh, a threshold. And what I did is just a breadth first search. You could do this in union fine. Uh, what's that union square? Because I live in New York. But you could use union fine. You could use that first search, I think. And you could use breadth first search um, as long as you do it in a good way so that you don't keep on, you know, looping back and forth or something like that. Um, th then that should be good. Um, and... And that's pretty much it, because this is a basic connectivity problem. Uh, it's a little bit of prerequisite. I'm not going to explain it too much. Basically, two no two adjacent nodes have an edge if the maximum, if the absolute difference between them is less than the threshold. So that's so that's an edge between adjacent uh, nodes. And I just look up, down, left, right, and and if I if I am able to hit the last last cell in the rows minus one, cows minus one, I return true. If not, then I return false because uh, we ran out of cells. So that's basic connectivity. Uh, what is the c complexity of this, right? So um, so I would say usually I use u for the size of the universe, which is in this case is from zero to uh, 10 to the six, right? Because that's the input. Uh, I like to give it a little bit higher just for whatever, I don't know. I don't know if I recommend it, but so this would take log of u iterations on here, and in each one would call. So yeah, binary search will take log u uh, iterations, and good threshold will take O of n, right? And here, of course, just to be clear, n is equal to rows times columns. It's linear in terms of that. Uh, so from that, you just put together and it'll be O of N log U. Uh, or if you want to put it another way, O of rows times columns uh, times log U. So that's the complexity. What is the space complexity? Um, so it's kind of the same because we kind of allocate a set every time. If you re if you can't reusing space, then it is linear because uh, actually I could have done it this way, which is that, I mean, I, I used to set because I was rushing it and a little bit lazy um, but you could have just used a matrix and you could show that um, that would just take rows times columns amount of space uh, if you want to observe that so n log u of space o of n oh sorry n log u of time o of n space uh, you could watch me solve this problem twice <laughs> two different ways uh, well two different problems two different ways uh, after this now I'm really slow today Oh my god. Yeah. Bottom right, you can move down left way. Less effort. Mixing languages, uh, okay.
this, let's do this. So this should be Why is this an N? Understood this man, I totally misread this problem. Maximum absolute difference. Oh, totally misread this problem actually. Hmm, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this problem this is good then and we want to get less So dumb. Why did I delete it? <laughs> uh.
I'm going to have a weird loop somewhere. Oh, I don't. Ugh. Loop. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, that was dumb. That. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching the explanations. If you're here, uh, definitely appreciate it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And yeah, I didn't do that well this contest, but I did learn a bit from the, from the Q4. I liked it. I digged it. I uh, dug it. So hmm, it is what it is. Anyway, I will see y'all next explanation. Bye-bye.